Hello everyone, this is Gator07 from ProgressiveClan.com and today I got another League of Legends tutorial for you featuring Kennen. Kennen is one of my favorite champions and once you learn how to play him you will have a lot of fun and you will win a lot of games. Kennen excels at bursting down the whole enemy team and he excels at crowd controlling. Kennen is AP Mage Carry and his passive is Mark of the Storm. Upon dealing damage with your spells, your opponents receive Mark of the Storm. After receiving 3 marks of the storm, your opponent will be stunned for 1 second. If you manage to stun them again within 7 seconds, the stun will only last for half a second. Your first ability is Q, which throws a shuriken and it will hit the first target it meets, dealing magic damage and marking the enemy with mark of the storm. The double view ability has passive and active. The passive works like this, every 5th basic out attack will deal extra damage and mark the enemy with Mark of the Storm. The active goes like this, all enemies within certain range who have at least one Mark of the Storm on them will be hit by electricity and you will deal magic damage to him, adding another Mark of the Storm. Cannon's third ability is called Lightning Rush. For 3 seconds you gain extra movement speed, you ignore unit collision and you damage everything you touch, applying Mark of the Storm. Upon hitting first enemy you will restore 40 energy. While this ability is activated, you cannot use your basic attacks and you deal only half damage to minions with it. Additionally, for 4 seconds Cannon will get some extra magic resist and armor. You can deactivate ability by clicking E again. Cannon final ability or his ultimate works like this. Once activated, all enemies within radius of it have chance of getting hit by lightning. On level 1 it can hit 6 times, on level 2 it can hit 10 times and on level 3 it can hit 15 times. Note that every champion can get hit only 3 times maximum. This ultimate is by far one of the best ultimates in the game, it deals a lot of damage it's almost a guaranteed stun every time you use it and it can change the team fight completely. For the rune setup I like to go ability power, magic resist, armor and magic penetration. The ability power and magic penetration will give you that extra damage on beginning. The magic resist and armor will grant you some extra survivability because cannon is really squishy. When it comes to cannon masteries I like to go 21, 8 and 1 getting all the caster properties in offense tree, getting some health regen, magic resist and armor in defense tree, and improving my flash in utility. When it comes to building cannon, there is really many ways to do it, so now I'm gonna show you my offensive and my defensive build. On my offensive build, I will open up with boots and three health potions. Then, when I get money, I will buy Zonia's Hourglass, Level 2 Boots, Death Cap, Rylai's Crystal Scepter, Void Staff and Guardian Angel. This build will allow you to have extremely high burst mid-game and you will have some survivability till the end game. On the defensive build, I will go with Boots and 3 Health Potions. I will get some Spell Lamp, Level 2 Boots and Zonia's Hourglass. Then, I'm gonna get Rylai's Crystal Scepter and Will of the Angels. At this point, you will have a lot of sustain a lot of health, you will slow down your enemies when using spells and you have the Zonias for extra protection while in teamfight. Right now there comes a question between, Ryla, with, between Abyssal Scepter and Guardian Angel. I will get Guardian Angel if I'm worrying about dying and I will get Abyssal Scepter if I just need that extra magic resist and more damage. For the final item I will get that cap for some additional burst. Let's see some good and bad sides and some kind of personal opinions and some facts about Cannon before I show you some gameplay. On the good sides we have very good crowd control. He has extremely good ganking potential, powerful AoE burst, it's easy to farm with, he has a good poke and he's really hard to gank due to his stuns and E that gives you armor, magic resist, movement speed and unit cohesion ignoring. On the bad sides he's really squishy and not too hard to counter. My personal opinion that he is extremely fun to play, an additional fact on Cannon that he is using energy over mana. Now I'm gonna show you some gameplay and how powerful Cannon actually is inside of the game. In this first fight Blitzrun goes for the grab and gets Ezreal. I use my E, Flash and Ultimate to position myself behind the enemy team to avoid any kind of damage 
stunning 3 people, picking up the triple kill and completely destroying the enemy team. We pick up the ace here. This time I'm heading for the Baron because enemy team is grouping up for him. My team manages to pull Cho'Gath over the wall and kill him, however I'm ha I have to go for the enemy team. Now you're gonna see the true power of Cannon and Zonia's ring. Zonia's hourglass, pardon me. I'm waiting for my ultimate and then I go with E. I use my ultimate and I smash the hourglass. They cannot do damage to me while Misfortune is melting them. Then I notice I cannot kill Ezreal by myself right now so I go for the Pantheon. I pick up the Pantheon with Q and then turn around for Ezreal. I picked up another triple kill and we aced them and completely made them waste their Baron. Right now I'm playing against Orianna on mid and she is being quite a bully. She's level 3 and I'm level 2 so I have to wait till I have my full combo before I go on her. After farming few minions I get my level 3 and I start to move towards her. I use my E for the first mark of the storm, double view, active for the second and then out attack passive from double view for the stun, using my ignite out attacks to finish her off and pick up the kill. As the last clip is playing I just want to say thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something new and if you would like to see any other champion featured on this series just drop a comment below and I'll do it as soon as I can. Gator out.